Autumn is a four and a half year old bearded dragon, or mokomoko paho. These amazing reptiles can make fantastic companions, and these dragons are much easier to care for than the mythical flying, fire breathing ones. Like all animals, bearded dragons each have their own feelings, personalities, wants and needs, so it's important that we learn how to best care for them. Providing your beardie with a varied and healthy diet is a great way to ensure they stay healthy and happy. So, what do they eat? Well, bearded dragons are omnivores, so that means they need a variety of plants and insects so that they get all the nutrients that they need. So we actually have mealworms for Autumn today. Do you want to help me feed her? Yo, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> when feeding your bearded dragon, make sure their food is no bigger than the space between their eyes. Do I put it right here? Yeah, exactly. Come on, Autumn, kai time. A bearded dragon's diet, how much they eat and how often they eat will depend on their age. Be sure to ask your reptile vet for advice on what and how to feed your bearded dragon. And if your family goes on holiday, make sure you organise a responsible person to care for your beardy while you're away. Finally, even though bearded dragons like dry conditions, they still need clean, fresh water every day, just like any other animal. It's a good idea to give them a water dish that's shallow and large enough for them to fit in, because bearded dragons sometimes enjoy taking a bath in their water dish. Some bearded dragons also love a gentle mist shower. Misting your dragon is a great way to help them stay hydrated. Just make sure your spray bottle is clean and filled with room temperature water. Ensuring your beardy has a healthy, balanced diet and lots of clean, fresh water is a great way to show them your love. This lovely warm enclosure is home to a bearded dragon named Two. Where a companion animal lives affects how they feel, think and behave, so providing your bearded dragon with a suitable environment is one way you can make sure that they stay healthy and happy. How much room do they need? Well, bearded dragons can grow between 30 and 60 centimetres long, so the bigger the beardy, the bigger the enclosure you'll need. And they also need to be able to move around, so really the bigger the better. Can you use a big fish tank? Well, it's actually better for your enclosures to have doors on the side so you can reach in and clean it easily. And they also need to have a secure cover because bearded dragons are exceptional escape artists, and if there's a way for them to get out, they'll find it. Bearded dragons originally come from the desert, so they need warm, dry environments. To keep the temperature nice and warm, it's best to use a heat lamp. Bearded dragons love to bask under these, especially on a big stone or rock. But it's also important that your dragon can move somewhere to cool down if they get too hot. So make sure there are cooler areas in their enclosure as well. This is another example of why a big enclosure is needed. Do you need to have some sort of special light? Yeah, so they have a heat lamp that keeps them warm and then a UV light tube that gives off ultraviolet light and they absorb it through their skin and it helps to keep them healthy. Does it stay on the whole time? No, it's best to have it on a timer, so about 12 to 14 hours every day and then have it switch off at night. When you're creating your enclosure, make sure you include a few hiding spots for your bearded dragon. This will help them to relax and reduce stress. You also need to keep their enclosure clean. A beardy dropping can be smelly and messy, so it's best to spot clean their space every day. Creating a comfortable, safe, secure and well-ventilated home that's just right for your dragon is a fantastic way to help them stay healthy and happy. Bearded dragons like Two and Autumn here can make fantastic companions. As their guardians, we need to ensure they stay healthy, and an important part of that is taking them to a vet immediately if you suspect they are hurt or unwell. 
Not all vets are experienced with reptiles, so you will need to find a vet that can care for your bearded dragon and give them the yearly health checkups they need. Like other reptiles, bearded dragons will shed their skin from time to time. This may look a bit odd, but it's a normal part of being a beardy. It's important you leave their old skin to fall off naturally and never try to pick or pull it off. If your dragons are shedding, try giving them a 10 to 15 minute soak in clean, warm water, as this can be helpful. What if some of their skin gets stuck? Well, this can happen, especially around their toes and their tail, and it can lead to something called tail rot. And so it's really important that you keep an eye on them, and if their skin does go dry and dark, to call your vet right away so it can get treated. I think Autumn is going to shed soon. Yeah, you're right. You can tell because the color of her skin has changed, see on her foot and her face. And this can be really itchy for her, so it's important to keep handling to a minimum during this time. If you ever handle or touch a bearded dragon, you need to know about Salmonella. Salmonella is a type of microscopic bacteria that reptiles can carry. If it gets onto your hands, then onto your food or into your stomach, it can make you very sick. To avoid salmonella being transferred from your dragon to you or vice versa, you must wash your hands before and after every contact. How do we know if they're sick? Well, sometimes it can be really hard to spot, so the best thing to do is to get to know your bearded dragon really well. And if you notice a change in their behaviours, it could be a sign that they're not feeling very well. It's also a good idea to do your own health checkups on your companion every day. When you're visiting your bearded dragon, you can look to see they're eating normally, they're alert and moving around easily. Check that their bodies look normal without any unusual bumps or growths. They have clean bottoms and their ears, eyes and mouth are clean without any gooey fluid around them. Every so often it's a good idea to brush their teeth with a cotton bud. And don't forget to check their claws. If they're getting too long, they may need to be trimmed. Ask your vet or an experienced adult to help with this. If you notice anything unusual about your dragon's behaviour or appearance, you should contact your vet straight away, as this may be a sign that they're unwell and need your help. and Autumn are mokomoko paho, or bearded dragons. So it's important that they get to do all the things that bearded dragons like and need to do. Natural behaviours for bearded dragons include climbing, hiding, digging, drinking, eating, basking, and of course, sleeping. What does it mean when a beardy waves their arm around like this? Well, just like us, bearded dragons have their own form of body language and communication, so experts aren't exactly sure what it means, but it is a form of communication. Sort of like when we raise our arm to say hello. 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 <laughs> Head bobbing and beard fluffing are also common body signals and can be a sign of stress, aggression or excitement. Beard fluffing is when your dragon's beard fluffs out to make them look bigger. The beard may also become darker in colour. This is a natural behaviour, but if it's happening all the time, your dragon may be stressed, and you should ask your vet for advice. Another common behaviour is simply holding their mouth open while basking. This is also natural, and often just means they're trying to cool their body down a little bit. Some bearded dragons will show a special reptile behaviour called brumation. This is similar to hibernation, if you notice your bearded dragon becoming less active, eating less and toileting less, you need to first make sure that they're healthy, and then if they are, get some advice about brumation. Is it okay to take them out of their enclosure like this? Yeah, absolutely. Bearded dragons need exercise just like us so that they stay healthy. But it's really important that we keep them in a secure area like this so that they're safe and they can be supervised. Do they run around sometimes? 
Yeah, they can, and they can be surprisingly fast, and that's why it's important to have them in a safe area so they don't run under anything where you can't get to them. They also really enjoy swimming too, so you can put them in the bath with some clean water. Just make sure you don't overdo it because they can also get tired just like us. Mm -hmm. Ensuring your better dragons get to express their natural behaviours is an awesome way to make sure they stay healthy and happy. All bearded dragons deserve to be happy. Loving your bearded dragon and learning to understand their needs will help you to prevent your dragon from feeling bored, frightened or stressed. It's especially important to learn how to handle your dragon correctly. Bad handling can be very stressful. Bearded dragons do not like to be surprised, so make sure they see your hand coming when you go to pick them up. Never grab your bearded dragon suddenly, squeeze them or hold them in high places. It's best to support their whole body, including their tail, and to get an adult to help you. Would it be okay for Autumn and Two to live together? Well, most bearded dragons prefer to live alone, and they can actually find it really stressful to live with another beardy, so I'd say the Two and Autumn are quite happy living separately. So can you only take care of one bearded dragon? Well, you could take care of more, but they would need their own separate enclosures. Even happy bearded dragons still like to have some quiet alone time every so often. If they're hiding, it's important to respect their wishes and wait until they're more active and interested in saying hello to you. How do you know if your bearded dragon is stressed? Well, one thing that you can look out for are any unusual dark marks on their chin or bellies. So these are called stress marks and it's best to contact your vet for advice about what can be causing them stress. Autumn doesn't have any. No, she seems pretty happy and relaxed out here. Being the guardian of a bearded dragon can be lots of fun, but it is a big responsibility and long-term commitment. Beardies can live for 10 to 15 years or longer. So before you adopt one, it's important to be sure that your family can meet all their needs to ensure they live happy, healthy lives. Mm -hmm.